Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here. Obviously, another crazy, crazy day of League of Legends is now behind us. I'm obviously, at the point this video comes out, I'm actually talking about yesterday. I'm talking about the day that Cloud9, unfortunately and very tragically, lost to Unicorns of Love and then obviously lost the tiebreaker to Detonation Focus Me. Um, it really boggles my mind how North America continues to be so terrible in tiebreakers, so terrible um, in high-pressure situations really at all, it seems like. Um, you would think in a best of one, it'd be pretty close to a coin flip, but somehow NA just always defies the odds, and even Unicorns of Love that have, that had looked pretty terrible throughout the entire tournament, um, you know, and then they go on to lose their tiebreaker, so it's not like Unicorns of Love was super hot or playing cracked out of their mind that day, anything like that, um, but, you know, I still have full confidence in Cloud9 being able to make it out, um, and now on the other side, uh, we have the winner of Galatasaray and Beyond Gaming uh, fighting against Hanwell Life, so I'm going to be a very, very big fan of, you know, whoever comes out of the other uh whoever is the other team that comes out of cloud9's group because man it would be so funny to see the korean team not make it to the playing stage um but that's just kind of you know the update my thoughts on worlds all of that stuff um what we are talking about today is, is some more g2 news um there was actually a video from cap's most recent live stream where he gives us a little update on the g2 situation what's going on his thoughts about this past season um and it's got some people talking uh some people kind of on both sides of things so i wanted to give my thoughts and opinions on that whole thing uh definitely drop a like if you guys do enjoy this video i'd appreciate it a ton uh subscribe to today and all my latest content and consider checking out my patreon patreon.com slash i am germ with that being said let's get right into this so um obviously we know already uh this g2 offseason has been crazy it has been interesting we saw this tweet from jacob wolf where he said the g2 esports season is like and then obviously yankos caps and carlos uh building you know being construction workers building a new roster we've heard carlos multiple different times saying that this is going to be a rebuild for them and and that fans should not be disappointed, fans should not be mad, because he has gotten a lot of tweets from angry fans and from angry just people in the scene being like, oh, G2 is supposed to be good. They're supposed to be one of the best teams in the world. They're supposed to be competing for world championships, international titles, and... You know, you're talking about getting ERL players in the top lane. You're replacing Wonder, maybe with a, you know, a Broken Blade. Uh, you're, recla you're replacing your bot lane, maybe with two ERL players. Like, what the heck is going on? Um, but, you know, fans overreact. Fans are very short-sighted. Carlos gets it. Um, he says, you know, a rebuild can be, uh, it's supposed to be an exciting time. It's supposed to be a time where you actually start fixing things um, because this iteration of G2 however good we think they could have been or should have been or, or might have been or maybe in the future, they weren't good enough. Uh, they didn't even make, uh, you know, that's the crazy part. This is a team that was preseason, you would have been hard-pressed to find many people that didn't think they were going to do very, very well. They were honestly one of the, of all the teams in the world, they were one of the top choices to win Worlds, at least make it to World Finals, at least make it very deep in Worlds, and this team didn't play in a LEC Finals. They didn't make it to MSI. They didn't make it to Worlds. You know, this stuff is so so crazy um but you know g2 is obviously deciding to rebuild they're obviously going to try and, and and make it work if this iteration of g2 didn't they're going to try and take a chance on a new iteration that uh might work and obviously it seems like they're going to be building around their two main pieces in caps and yankos and getting rid of everybody else getting a new coach a new top laner a new ad carry a new support um and obviously people are going to have very very mixed thoughts and opinions on that I think it's fine. Some people think it's not. Um, you know, so Carlos is getting all this different stuff, but he is telling people, you know, calm down, trust the process, have faith. Let's see how this goes. This is an exciting time. Um, you know, all teams in every sport, every competition, everything have to go through phases like this. You know, rosters don't work out. Rosters age. Rosters peak and then they fall off and they drop off and, and players come and go and rosters come and go. Every team ever is going to go through something like this and it's how you can bounce back from it. It's how you can rebuild. That is where, you know, GMs, management, owners, all that stuff, that's where they make the big money. Yes, you know, going out and getting that first roster is great um, and, you know, winning MSI, making it to world, uh, world finals, all that. Awesome. Perfect. Love it, but can you do it again? Can you strike? You know, everyone can, you know, find gold or, or get struck by lightning once or whatever, but can you do it again? And this is where we're really going to see how good, you know, Carlos is as an owner, as a mastermind of this whole thing. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But we did get this tweet from Bloop. This is obviously a clip from Caps' live stream um, where, you know, Bloop says Caps talked about what went wrong for G2 this year. This got a lot of people talking. This is a pretty popular clip. It's got 10,000 views just here on Twitter. Um, and it's, you know, on YouTube, on Reddit, all this stuff. Uh, and it's a little bit spicy. It's not crazy spicy, but it, it gives me some things to talk about. It definitely has some talking points that I wanted to hit on in it. So let's see uh, what Mr. Caps had to say. 
uh, you're going to like, what's it called, be the best, right, and win worlds. And sometimes it just doesn't work out. It can be hard to predict. Like you never know what's gonna end up happening with with the meta or how people are gonna like what kind of mentality people will be. In. Like even sometimes you play with the same people, right? And there's a difference between years. So that was kind of crazy to me. You know, obviously saying these things are hard to predict. And that's what I talked about a little bit. Again, G2 came into the year with crazy high expectations. They ended up just being a very middle of the pack team in Europe. Um, and yeah, it was, it was a big surprise to a lot of people. There were not very many people that would have been predicting them to not make Worlds, not make MSI, and not play in an LEC final. Even the biggest of G2 critics had them at least qualifying for worlds you know anyone who's saying they didn't at least have g2 going to worlds probably lying probably full cap but whatever um but what is very very spicy and what's very very interesting to me about this clip is that he says sometimes you play with the same people and people change sometimes people are different sometimes you don't even know the mentality or the level or, or whatever of the very same people now is this a shot at reckless i think that's what you know, I, I've seen that comment a couple times, and that's where my mind first goes. Like, is this a direct shot at Reckless? He played with Reckless before in Fnatic. Uh, obviously, he was down for having Reckless come to G2, so he had some expectation of how good Reckless was going to be, what his mindset was going to be, how he was going to be as a leader, how he was going to be, you know, in-game, out-of-game, whatever. And he doesn't have to be talking about Reckless here, and he, he, maybe he isn't, you know, maybe probably he isn't even talking about Reckless, but... The wording is just so, so specific and so, so interesting. Now, he could be talking about anyone on G2. You know, he played with all these guys before. He could be talking about Wonder. You know, they expected him to be one way and he was different. They could expect Nikki to have been better this year. He could be talking about perks. You know, he could be talking about anybody or he could just be saying general statements from, from what his experience is. But there's a chance that this is a little bit of a shot, a little bit of a dig at Reckless. And if it is, I think that is very, very spicy, and I think that is very, very interesting. Now, Caps himself is catching a little bit of backlash for this. Obviously, they say, uh, you know, this guy said, yeah, Caps evolved into a snake. And I think that's very, very interesting because now Caps has, uh, you know, left Fnatic for G2, jump ship. You know, he did the Kevin Durant to him, hopped over. And then now, as soon as things go a little bit bad in G2, uh, he wants to kick all his teammates out. He's asking for a full rebuild. And, and usually, I'd be totally fine with that. You know, Caps is a great player. I think he's a friend franchise player for G2. I think he's the best player on G2, but he's coming off a year that was not very good. He was not the best mid laner in EU. I don't even know. You know, at times he wasn't even a top three mid laner in EU this season. Caps was not his normal dominant self. It's not like he was 1v9ing this season and his teammates were hard holding him back. Caps absolutely played into the disappointment of a year that G2 had in 2021. So I don't think he has a ton of ground to stand on, uh, you know, in terms of, of saying that this guy, we can't win with this guy or we'll never be good enough at this guy or whatever. Because if this was 2019 Caps, this whole year might have been completely different for G2. Now, is it fair to have those crazy high expectations and say that Caps needs to be an MVP cal caliber or level player all the time or G2 is going to be unsuccessful? No, absolutely not. But that would at least give Caps, you know, a lot more leverage to be saying these things, calling these people out, whatever. Uh, and again, I get why Caps is doing this stuff. You know, largely his decisions have worked out. You know, he was on uh, Fnatic, makes it the World Finals, jump ship for G2, that works out. We'll see how this, uh, you know, works out for him, calling for all the replacements of his teammates. Um, and I can see you saying, yeah, he's just a competitor. He wants to win. He wants to have the right people around him. Um, but I could also see you making the snake argument as well, because I think, you know, both things can be true at one time. And he's just ruthless, cold-blooded, and, you know, maybe he fits in perfectly uh, with G2 and Carlos. But, you know, it's funny because he has kind of that fun-loving, you know, happy personality um you know to the cameras and that's like his persona and everything but uh yeah there is a little bit more going on behind the scenes and it's very very interesting and i cannot wait to see how this offseason plays out for g2 and then how successful they're able to be in 2022 because obviously they're taking some big risks caps is making you know some big demands and calling some people out it's a little bit spicy it's a little bit interesting and i think it's going to make for uh you know very very interesting game series and a very interesting season in 2022 but that's pretty much it for this video today guys definitely drop a like if you did enjoy it i'd appreciate it so so much leave a comment down below uh what do you think about Cass's comments is he calling out reckless is he a snake uh or, or do you think you know this is just just makes sense he's just a competitor he wants to win and he wants good teammates i'd love to hear your guys thoughts and opinions subscribe to stay up to date on all my latest content hopefully catch you guys in the next one but until then peace